So we're in Franken in Germany with a Silvaner from Andy Weigand. Um, we've had a lot of his wines throughout the years, his rosé, another one of his whites, I think even a sparkling, and we're never disappointed. I love all of his stuff. Um, and when I saw they had Silvaner this year, I was really excited about it because if you've been around for a while, you'll know that I love the grape Silvaner. I think it doesn't get enough attention. Riesling gets all the excitement, but Silvaner is a really gorgeous expression that you find in uh, Alsace and in Germany pretty often. So let's take a look at it. On the nose, really like zippy, bright, like, chalky, limey thing going on up here. It's pretty typical to not get that much out of Sylvaner on the nose. You'll get a lot more on the palate. It's a little bit more of like a reserved grape, but this one is showing a lot more um, than you would see traditionally. Yeah, definitely like tart green apple. Maybe a little bit um, grassy as well. So it almost reminds me a little bit of like the feeling that you get when you smell a Sauvignon Blanc. The smells aren't the same, but kind of like this little, almost like a chalkiness or something too. I don't know how to express it, but you'll see it. Come in the mouth. Oh, so good. Very linear, very like direct, straight, super light bodied, great acid, pretty high in acid, uh, light bodied, very easy drinking white. Um, the flavor profile is almost exactly what I said on the nose. It's got this lininess to it, a little bit like crisp and minerally and like very part green apple. So beautiful expression of it. As far as pairings go, um, I would definitely go down the path of lighter things with this, like sandwich and chips, grilled fish, Pod in particular is coming to mind. Maybe like a white pizza too could be nice with it. It's also just a great one for a hot day. Like it's an easy drinking, it's only 11.5% as well. So um, perfect for like a hot day sitting outside. So enjoy.